Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Health. And I'm here today to look into plants and in particular plant growth defects. Now all these plants that I'm showing you are actually the same variety of plant and they all when they came into the house had leaves that looked like this. And as you can see this leaf is the size of the palm of my hand. So this is how the plant should look. Now this one has shown some growth changes and the leaves are actually half the size and it seems to have stabilized out at that level. Now this one has completely changed. I mean it's unrecognizable from the original plant and uh, I grew this in a radio field that was produced by my digital television. As you can see the leaves are very shiny and glossy, very very different from these leaves over here which are very dull and matte and patterned and large. So I've been trying to get the growth on this plant to change back to the original growth for a while and I haven't had any success. I've actually put the plant outside for a month and uh, it was identical when I came back and I'm not too sure whether it's had its DNA damaged by the radio field and is permanently going to grow like this forevermore or whether I can actually change the growth pattern back so that it looks like this plant which is what it originally looked like. So my next experiment on this plant is to shield the base of the plant, its roots and uh, soil from electromagnetic radiation using foil. And I've already established using my cell phone that foil will actually kill off the cell phone signal. And it's very easily monitored by looking at your cell phone graph, which on this phone is right up here. So you can see we don't really have much signal. Uh, this house, when it's not in the foil, actually gives full signal strength. So the foil is very effective at shielding from microwave radiation. The reason why I'm suspicious about microwave radiation is there's a whole bunch of data that has come out recently saying that uh, cell phone towers, for anybody who lives within a mile of them, they, the, the sickness rates in the humans is very high compared to the general population. And also, the closer you get to the cell phone tower, the sicker the people get. And if you live right under a cell phone tower, well, you're going to be pretty sick based on the data, you know. You're going to be lucky to have good health if you live directly under a cell phone tower. So that's, that's what this experiment is aimed at. I'm suspecting that it's the microwave signals. I have three to four cell phone towers all within about a mile of my house. And for that reason, I get really good signal strength. But the downside is the microwave radiation levels are high. So I'm suspecting that possibly the reason why this plant has not changed its growth back to its normal level is because it's in a microwave field. And that's what this foil around the pot is all about. So I just wanted to show you what my latest plant experiment was and I will report back on this plant probably in a few months. It generally takes about three months to see some changes in growth on these plants and uh, I'm, I'm interested to see what happens and uh, I'm sure you are too. So in the meantime I wish you the very best of health and I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Thank you.